long ago, like 11 years ago, there was a game called Zombie Tower. It was a popular front page zombie game, and it was well made, for the time at least. Back then, you could just slap the name Zombie onto any Roblox game and it would sell or product in general, hence the game being named Zombie Tower. But as a decade passed, the audience on Roblox changed, and thus did the standards for Roblox games themselves. Zombie games that once dominated the front page were no longer in favor. The only reliable success became the easily conceptualized Call of Duty Zombies clone, which seemed to attract attention no matter how bland that it seemed. After all, it's pretty easy for kids to understand, and all of the basics are already laid out for you. You don't even have to make any new maps. Just make a copy of the source material and nobody will care. Why? Because the audience is full of kids who've never played or heard of Call of Duty Zombies, and if anybody critiques it, then you can just easily deflect said criticism by just claiming, it's a kid's game. Anyway, some brave Roblox creators brave to fight against the infection of Call of Zombies copies on Roblox. The zombification of the zombie genre, if you will. And one by one, they all fell down. And here leads us to a game called Zombie Tower Remastered. Wait, no, it's just called Resurrections. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna be talking about Resurrections. Again. A few years ago, a developer named Drac decided to remaster Zombie Tower. And honestly, it seemed to catch the eyes of a lot of Roblox veterans. Fans of the original could not only come back and revisit their old childhood memories, but players in general who were just tired of the staleness of the mainstream Roblox zombie games could finally get something fresh and new. Even though there was only one map and barely any noticeable updates, the game was able to make itself a small fandom, made up of players dedicated to keep playing the same map over and over. Yeah, the grind of this game used to really suck, by the way. The game seemed to scratch that nostalgic itch that Menti yearned for. And eventually, plans to remaster other classics, such as Contamination, were also made. About a year and some months later, a second map was to be added to Zombie Tower Remastered, known as Roots of Corruption, which was meant to be based off of that Haunted Mansion map from a long-ass time ago. And yeah, the players seemed to like it, for the most part. First of all, yes, it was just another COD Zombies clone, but at the very least, this one was actually different, I guess. It gave you objectives rather than just turning on the power and buying perks, instead opting for its own unique system based off of finding numerous books around the mansion. And it wasn't super easy either. You were a two-hit down, just like old COD Zombies. And also, this was in the Roblox engine and stuff, so doing stuff like simply trying to knife a zombie past round three was a damning mistake. And at the end of the day, like I said earlier, the reliable way to make a zombie game is just a copy Call of Duty. And, you know, you have to do what you have to do if your game is going to survive, I guess. The game was then slated to become something different than just Zombie Tower. It was meant to be a collection of remasters or remakes or whatever from old times. Six months passed and a new map was added. Dead Town, another COD Zombies type experience. And Zombie Tower was removed from the game, leaving the title as just R for Resurrections, which is kind of the reason why I made this video. You see, Dead Town is sort of filler content because it's not something that most of the original followers of the game would find themselves indulging in behind one or two quick plays just to check into the game and see what's going on. Yeah, it's based off of zombies are attacking McDonald's, I mean Rodonald's, but there isn't a whole lot interesting beyond that. Playing Dead Town is ironically kind of like eating a McDonald's Big Mac for the 500th time. It's exactly what you expect from start to finish, and it doesn't exactly make you feel good afterwards either. What kind of confuses me is, beyond the nostalgic references and stuff, who is this game exactly made for right now? The original fans of the game found themselves coming to this game because it was different than the oversaturated COD Zombies copies on the front page, and also nostalgia. But now this game kind of is just that? At least right now, in this moment, until the next map gets added, which might take six months minimum. Right now, Resurrection seems like a ship without a rudder, drifting wherever, whenever. Yes, there is a roadmap on paper, but who knows how long things will take to get added. And it's not even me attacking Drac, after all, we are chums. I'm just stating a fact, a fact that even he seems to know and acknowledge. I remember my friend begging me to play Dead Town with him when it first dropped, so we assembled a crew of four and decided to play it together. And then after like 30 minutes or so, we were like, okay, that was a map. Now let's go and play something else and we'll come back to this game in like six months whenever they add the map we're actually waiting for. Call me a fake fan all you want, but I don't think a fake fan would be actively promoting the game on multiple occasions. I mean, COD Zombies, Cones, and Roblox aren't exactly the most replayable games anyways, let's be honest. 
They're made for kids to play, specifically kids who have never played Con Zombies yet and thus haven't got bored of it yet and are willing to play it over and over until they get to that point. So basically this game right now is mostly catering towards younger players. Judging how mobile support is back when Jurak previously appeared to have a negative public feeling towards mobile players as a whole. But there are nostalgic references that only people that are late teenagers would feel nostalgia for. Which is once again weird because late teenagers usually wouldn't bother with a game like this. With the current state of the game I would actually argue that you're going to enjoy it way more if you're a new fan than an old fan, mainly because the old game has become completely different than the new game, and apparently the original concept that the game was built off of is meant to be forgotten and swept under the rug without any opposition. It does not matter how many hours that you spent playing Classic, or supporting the developer's initial product, your feelings that you feel are false and your opinion will not be tolerated. If you dare to share your opinion, it will be shot down instantly with a quick-witted remark. God damn it. Why does every single indie Roblox developer slowly start to develop that same public persona? You know, the irritable introvert. They can't just respond nicely, or at the very least, ignore direct criticism. No, they have to shoot it down, but only in a rude and dismissive tone. Please, you are talking to kids who are more than likely four or five years younger than you. Please demonstrate a little patience. You are creating content on a platform predominantly consumed by children. Please go easy on them. Tradelands has this problem, Vampire Hunters has this problem, Zeppelin Wars has this problem, Survive the Night has this problem. Well, actually, at the very least, Survive the Night tried to remedy this problem by having Spy do most of the talking while Ratch Jumper stayed back. Because if you ask any Survive the Night fan, the opinion regarding Ratch Jumper seems to be overwhelmingly negative. Drek, it's happening to you. The last progress is infecting you slowly. This is not going to go over well at all. Basically, kids are stupid, and Drek should know this because doesn't this update kind of rely on a target audience full of kids too stupid to play the actual Call of Duty zombies? I mean, I get comments like this all the time, but I think it's just best to ignore them at the end of the day. Because let's be honest, we've all said a lot of things that we regret saying, even at ages like 16 or 17. Adolescent brain development is crazy, and a lot of teenagers' opinions change every two or three months. Which kind of ties back into the thing I said earlier about how the game is whatever it wants to be whenever it wants to be. And to be fair, I didn't really have a super strong opinion towards Classic anyways. I just played it a lot because it was a way to pass the time. And I played Roots of Corruption to pass the time as well because it was also nicely made. I'm not saying that Dead Town is necessarily bad, but I think we can admit that it leaves the game in a very strange state, with Zombie Tower being gone. And I can definitely understand how fans of the original of the original Resurrections feel about this game's state as well. I mean, I'm not entirely bothered by it personally, but I will state that if somebody was a diehard fan of the original work, and then said original work is destroyed and the mere mention of it is looked down upon with strong negative connotations, I can totally understand how that might make somebody upset. Especially if you have invested hours of your time into said work that is now being publicly denounced. I'm having trouble even reading through this script right now because something tells me that this action will have consequences. Anyways, I think that whenever contamination gets added, a good amount of the players will be back for that, including me, considering I made a video about how nobody could remaster it correctly except maybe Drek specifically. And I think that regardless if the Titanic map is bland like Dead Town, I think that it will still get people to come and play it at least once or twice to see what it is. A lot of people just cannot bring themselves to play this game over and over, but a lot of us are actively watching it and keeping up with it because we find this game's concept itself interesting. Anyways, that just about subs up my current opinions regarding ZTR without the ZT and just the R. Believe it or not, people actually do converse about resurrections outside of the Discord server. Also, allow me to remind you that I'm not a fanboy of Classic, nor am I a fanboy of the survival mode. I'm just an average Resurrections enjoyer that felt compelled to share a few thoughts. Believe it or not, my opinion is no more valid than yours. But yeah, if you like this video or if you like me, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also give me some feedback in the comment section below. Drac, please message me, I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. Incoming zombie. <gasps> Can you get... <laughs> he got melted. Oh! Oh, the boat's dead. Oh, the boat's oh. dead. Oh, go! Run! Grenade, grenade, grenade. 